Makenshi Gutis, Makenshi Dick Rides of Favorite Anime. Welcome back to another live reaction of Netflix's Castlevania Season 3, Episode 3 and 4. This is going to be a double. They're gonna be, there's going to be a double every day, I think. So one, one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Till uh, 9 and 10. Although I might, might do it 8, 9 and 10 as a triple. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let's get into this, man. Get into this greatness. Great world building last couple, last two episodes. Sumi, Taka, new, uh, I guess... Students of Alucard, you got Jermaine, I was told he's from the Curse of Darkness PS2 games. I wasn't a big guy for the PS2 era of Castlevania. I did play, you know, um, uh, what's it called? The DS, some of the DS ones. I played the 2D ones. I, I prefer the classics anyway. I prefer the side scholar ones. I didn't care much for the PS2. I don't think most people didn't care much for the PS2 ones. But, uh, so yeah, that's why I, I didn't know who fucking Jermaine was. Uh, but let's get into this. Castlevania Season 3, Episode 3. Come on. Badum. Netflix are killing it right now. They're killing it. Fuck it. No nonsense. Right into it. Castlevania Crib. Warrantless. Love it. Love it. Look how many areas they've had to draw in and look at that. Look at that fucking sublime fucking artwork. Great backgrounds is the key, man. Boredom. <laughs> no key fam. <laughs> Fucking hell. Turds. Turds is an interesting term of phrase. I wouldn't use that shit. Don. Mm. Yeah, we watch what you say, man. You might come up against a foe who you can't take down. Both soundboard. <laughs> they gotta figure out what they wanna do. Like just keep on fighting all their lives though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man's name pass. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't turn your no like back to it. Really? Yeah, this is Jason Isaac. I, I, I was seeing his name in the credits, and I was thinking, which character? Don. He plays Satan in Castlevania: Lords of Shadow. He did the voice. Better than this. Ha 
<laughs> I love how he's wearing the crest of the Belmonts now. You'd have thought they'd see it. Well, he's covering it, right? <laughs> Dark art summer. <laughs> What's that key? What if it was enabled by the fucking Priory? They were the enablers. Fucking hell, man. Can you imagine a world like this at some point? Fucking creatures of the night, fucking demons run amok, man. Jahannam on Earth, fam. man this is the big daddy okay nice oh nice nice smart old army tactics nice I mean, you, you think that demons like this wouldn't have a shit, wouldn't fucking infect them. They wouldn't come down with like diseases and shit. <laughs> they are a fucking disease. Big Daddy get, runs away, man. These designs are fucking awesome. I mean, that even at night, that fucking, that hair, that hair fucking sticks out, man. <laughs> He's just come back from a rave. <laughs> Shove glow sticks in his head. Did it take um, refuge in the Priory? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, wow. Interesting. Was there, was its ability to just, what was the, like, what was it doing? What the fuck? Okay. So they weren't willing, they weren't willing participants. Oh, fuck. What is it doing? This is new. This is new. Okay. Okay. Really? Did it share with, did it share with them? Fuck. Okay. Fuck.
What did they see? Maybe the... Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. Did Satan... Did, Sa did, did, did Satan speak to them? <laughs> of his coming or some shit? <laughs> Duty, right? <laughs> oh fuck, he's read them. Jason Isaac's such a great fucking Don. They've given him some great fucking writing, man. <laughs> fucking he'd rather not do anything, man. <laughs> Done, man. Do the white thing. Do the. Mm. A cipher is very powerful, but I feel like she could get herself in fucking real trouble, man. There we go with Isaac. <laughs> Look at that team just standing there amongst the crew. <laughs> This is a world, man. Good, good. Sufi, okay. Because that would explain his current life. Sufi would, would explain it. <laughs> Fuck man, so he is one of those guys. Sufis are known to be mystics, right? So it explains these things. <laughs> mm. You know, I love the revisionist history because everyone knows Vlad Tepes, right? Dracul, he's a crusader. He was butchering Muslims, Turks, right? Fuck, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do connect with him in that regard. I just want a meteor to hit for everyone to restart, but maybe it's a Muslim thing. <laughs> I love this guy. He just speaks simple words to him. What happened, mate? <laughs> I love it. Come on, no man. Chill out, man, I'm on. <laughs> yeah, man. It was just revenge for his fucking wife. Yeah. 
there, but still. <laughs> Great delivery, man. Tunisia. Oh, fuck, you know. Of course they're full of fear. Because you're walking around with fucking demons, fam. Oh wow, uh, this is interesting. Like, they, he's like, he reminds me of Azriel, man. Legit. Like, a twisted version of, of the, whatever religion they're following. Like, that's twisted. That's not how you do. God allows you to fucking, you know, come on, demons for this and stuff. He's a bit twisted. And even the fucking, there won't be any people in hell is. is Simplification of, of that, of what Prophet Muhammad said. <laughs> the only thing I share in common is humanity extinction. <laughs> Wow, this guy is fucking... <laughs> I love him. Love him. Such a great character. This guy, man. Yeah. Not him. Yeah. Oh my god, this is interesting debate, man. It's cool, but not all of them. Don, man. Wise brother. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Okay, this could be redemption for him. Like fucking Dracula. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> 
Interesting. Awesome. See, like, uh, this is the theme I knew that... This is the theme. Not theme, sorry. This is the arc he's going to be fucking doing, man. Like, he's going to realize, like, humans aren't so bad, man. There is potential there. You know what I mean? He was, he was around Dracula way too long. And him and Dracula both shared this contempt, right? Because of their experiences. But I think now he's going to have the chance to meet more fascinating people. And realize that, you know, maybe there's some interesting people in this world. And not everyone's like, you know. Because <laughs> right now he's got a twisted, man. Really twisted form of his own Islam, man. Sufis are mystics anyway. They, they really to the mystic or they're probably more, you know, secular in their, in their beliefs. Please, man. I don't want some fucking random fucking chick like this worming away into his brain. Oh, come on. It was under all your guys' watch. You think he believes that? You think he believes some fucking minion guard would do it if not for under somebody's orders, man? Man, I hope Hector's not a fucking kid in his head no more. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Smart motherfucker. Everybody's wifey. I want Hector to come between the sisters. Hmm. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> I love Hector, man. His delivery for me, he was the most impressive of last season. Like his delivery, his arc, I loved it. No. No oh, fucking stop doing that. I didn't think that fucking vampires could keep. Well, I guess these vampires can keep down food. I hate this fucking power dynamic right now, man. Fucking, he's like a fucking animal, man. They really took it, take it advantage of this guy. Be smarter than this, Hector, man. Roasted chicken. Yeah, same. Yeah, that's what I was, just what I was asking. Okay. Don't be so smart. Don't be so dumb that, that, that she just being kind to him out of the goodness of her fucking heart. Wait, wait till she fucking eat. Don. Don, don, don. Fucking. We got fucking dry. Fucking slag. Fucking wench. 
wench. He, he ain't that dumb, man. He's lived around, around fucking vampires. Oh, fuck off, man. Fucking, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, fuck it now. Easy, 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 man. Fucking hell. Man. <laughs> she's more terrifying than she looks, man. But it's because you're a fucking vampire. You sold your damn soul, fam. Anyone can do that. Wench. I'm, I'm glad he wasn't that dumb, man. Warren Ellis, done, man. Done. Done. God, man. The anime weebs are going to love this character, man. They love these wifey characters, we're like. <laughs> now he's got a goal now. Fuck off, man. Fuck right off. I want him to fucking either just demolish them all as Forge Master or come between them. Let them rip each other apart, these sisters. Because this is so easy to do. So easy to do. Ba -da -da. Fucking greatness. Fucking great. Greatness. Alright, let's go. Episode 4. Fucking, that was so dope. I love this. I love each of these stories. It's so fascinating, man. Each of these stories, man, that's taking place right now. They're, they're telling so... I mean, it had to be 10 episodes. you got a lot more to say. But I feel like it's building to something. Either it's building to Dracula's return, or it's building towards an even bigger threat coming. Something interesting. Like, these, they keep saying these demons come from hell. Like, they're not just created, like, mutations. They're coming from hell. And Dracula wants to go back to hell. This idea that maybe you can bring back something from hell. You know what I mean? That kind of, but what else do you bring back with it? This fascination. The demons have completely changed the, the priory now man they're not men of god no more they're just obsessed with dracula or hell and all this kind of thing weird man all right let's go uh, episode four fascinating interesting i appreciate they put i know he's a sufi he's not sunni or anything like that so it, it just it's like i guess uh, a very neutral position right to be in right so like a Muslim anti-hero. Very interesting man, that they put him in. Especially into a world like this. But it makes sense. It makes sense. Alright. Castlevania Season 3, Episode 4. Come on. Greatness. Fucking greatness. Sam Dietz, Sam Dietz, I forget, Sam Dietz deserves fucking bare credits, man, for getting this shit off the ground, man. They're wondering, what the fuck, he can get rid of those now, he's got, get, he's got guests now. <laughs> I look how it's interesting. Hmm. He doesn't even know now. Passage of time. This is his memories, man. <laughs> Painful memories here, man, in this castle, but good ones as well. Hmm. 
Nice. What was she doing all the way out? Okay. Really? Even when once we become vampires. Interesting. Fuck it. Yeah, exert her dominance. Fuck it now. It's sport. It's all become a fucking sport to these vampires. Fuck it now. Ah, oh, fuck it now. Bloodbath. Look how graceful she is, man. You wouldn't be like that without your fucking vampire powers. Yep. I just want someone to give her a fucking backhand, man. Look how arrogant, you know what I mean? Just a game to her, man. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, man. At least let him off for being a good sport, man. <clears throat> Shit. Oh man, what a seppuku. Ah. I mean, is she feeding or is she turning? Fuck it up. Oh, fuck it up. Music is dope. Okay. The call was given, yeah? This is what I like, a Dracula fucking... Nice. Nice. Hmm. Well, thanks to Alucard ciphering. Alcado, Alcado, Alcado. Yeah. Oh shit. Because humans can. <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> shit, man. Saved him from madness. Company. Arcado. What do we think? <laughs> Everyone's getting development. Yeah. 
<laughs> so they're not sister, like, they're not even figuratively. These two are a fucking couple. When has a woman ever fucking ruled that much land? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Maybe? Stockade. Concentration camps. This is a continuation of the fucking plans that were in season two. Cattle. Fuck you know. These are literal feminazis. Am I wrong? And they were heading, thinking of heading towards Poland. Feminazis. Imperial army. Fucking hell, man. Really? Imagine the vampires in this world are the, is where the inception of military industrial complex comes in. <laughs> Imagine an empire ruled by four women. Nah. -uh. <laughs> A cabinet of, you know, men and women. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. They love to scheme, don't they? Heaven help us, man. <laughs> Heaven help us. God damn. I'm glad I don't know who this character is from the fucking PS2 games because it might give away his machinations and his schemes. And... Mm. This is a damn good season. As far as like real dope characterization, really fucking, you know, as far as expanding the world, you know, lore, mythology, all that. Play the game. <laughs> what does he want? What's he want? He has to just pretend like he fucking loves Dracula. Interesting name, Salah. <laughs> I've heard that line before. What is going on in here, man? Oh, fuck, they turned fucking the statue of Jesus upside down. What are you fucking saying this, man? Now Dracula's gone, man. Like, his legacy fucking remains, man. What did they see, man? Do those deem... Fuck's sake, what kind of buggery is going on there?
Yeah, just dumped it in the fucking... Did he blag his way in and say, like, I can read all these fucking uh, languages and shit? Does he? <laughs> He's just hoping to find what he thinks is. Fucking hell. Oh, fuck. What else? Are they? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is wrong with him? But he, he, he's batting for the other side now. Okay, this is what Satan has believed. Oh my god, man. You are fucked. Okay, but then what did he tell you? Sulfur? Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. No, he just told him some science. <laughs> He's so... F He's fucking creepy, man. What happened? Like, what did that fucking night creature do, man? But what I don't understand is why they're scared of them. Why is... Yeah, why is the judge scared of overstepping his mark? What power do they hold, man? Nothing. You can just drag them out or flog them in the street. Man, like, what secret could this... I mean, before this place was got corrupted, these were just a normal priory of books and shit. Like, anyone could have come in. Like, what's so fucking important here? And, like, why now? After Dracula's gone? I mean, he, she, the wife wanted Dracula to share his secrets. What secrets? <laughs> Not very discreet, fam. Not very discreet. He's got one eye fucking wrong, man. Move. <laughs> no. Oh god, there's gonna be some fucking fisticuffs. Why does that sound like Sean Bean?
Okay. What work are you doing? What do you mean? What, what are you doing then? What are you going to do, fam? You, you bet you don't even wear fucking sandals. Oh, they are wearing sandals, except the fucking main dude. <laughs> what are these fuckers going to do? Do, do these the guys want to resurrect Dracula? That's what, all I can think. I can only think. What's going on? This list is going to be the key. <laughs> Some fucking ritual, man. The fucking, fucking cow's blood and fucking pissing and shitting on things and like doing some heinous fucking rituals. No doubt. But are they, how is that going to bring Dracula back, for fuck's sake? Dracula's gone, fam. I know in Castlevania, there's been stupid ways they've brought back fucking Dracula, like collecting parts of his body that was scattered throughout, like you couldn't kill him. So, But that's not how he went out, man. He was dust at the end of last season. How are they going to bring him back? Fucking hell. Yup. Exactly. Hector fucking knows. Okay. Nice. A great animation for everything in this. She's good cop, bad cop, all roll into one, man. And now he's going to tell her that's what Carmilla wants. <laughs> yeah. Look at this manipulation game. Isaac understands his rage. The thing doesn't. Hector didn't.
he didn't do it for a reward. He was just a strange kid who only felt fucking at home. Fuck. Oh, come on, don't do this, fam. From one master to another, forge your own destiny, man. Isaac is gonna get the right idea. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Don't do this, fam. One master to another. Go live your life, fam. <laughs> no, he probably would have been. Fuck off, man. Okay. True. Okay, I guess transactional, right? Fucking. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, uh, that's, there's, uh, there's nothing more transparent than that. You don't have to like them. You just got to like what they do for you. Yeah. Oh, no, no. That detail is important. I do too. Yeah, whatever, fam. Let him. I hope he's he's scheming. She's scheming. They scheming. I hope he's scheming. Knows, man he's been around vampires long enough man like he was around Dracula who he revered but he was around the scum man as well fuck's sake look at the designs great designs <laughs> see he's actually getting to fucking like humans man and now fucking Hector's back in the fucking employee of the some vampires, such a, you know. As a, this season, Isaac's gonna have an interesting journey. I like. Okay, let's see how this goes. Where is this fucking? Sp What is this? France? Oh, Genoa, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, you need to do your five times a day salaf, honey. Come on, man. Be reasoned. Fucking hell, man. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is such a great fucking line. That is so fucking great, man. It's because you're all so fucking rude. Oh, <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, man. Like, come on, man. Can one of you not be, like, show him different? Like, fucking hell, ragdolling these motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Instantaneous. Changes to fucking demons. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's it is crazy. This is crazy. This will be hell on earth. Everyone will be demons, man. That see the writing is so sharp, so fucking like it's so sharp. Like if the, if I had the the script here and just waved it across my neck. Fucking, that is so fucking dope. So dope. They made Isaac such an interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Isaac was okay, but I, I didn't really like him much in the last season. But this season, he's coming to his own, damn it. <laughs> Isaac Salah. Fucking greatness. Fucking greatness. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the day, man. This season, just... Fucking just dope. Great characterization. Great characterization. Action's been great. Animation consistent. Great world building. Great character. Fascinating is what I can say. It's like, it's just, it's so fucking dope. Like, this is every Castlevania fan's fucking wet dream, man. Konami need to fucking pay attention. Konami need to pay attention. They need to fucking get Warren Ellis on board. For writing duties, they need to get some great fucking staff, talented developers to make a you know make a game like this. With, you know, the games can be their own thing. The the TV stuff can be its own thing. Fair enough, but like, this is the best video game adaptation that has been, man. And I I like the Silent Hill movie, but this is easily the far and away the best video game adaptation. Like when Last of Us HBO TV show comes along, people are like, oh, this is the best. This is the best. Nah, you gotta fucking remember, fam. Netflix, Castlevania, three seasons strong, man. At the very least, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Those details are below. Click on my icon, icon on the bar and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Peace.